Good idea, colleagues. A pediatric uh, patients. Um, it's a rare disease, less than one uh, percent. And let me uh, explain the notion of the rare tumor in uh, children. There are several criteria of the term, and according to the E. Uh, you, uh, it's uh, six or less uh, cases per uh, the population of 100,000. The Americans have different approach. Rare are tumors in 15 and less uh, cases per 100,000 of uh, population. Uh, but all the malignant uh, tumors of childhood are uh, suiting this criteria. So we would rather say very rare uh, tumors. Well, less than two cases per million annually. Melanoma, uh, skin melanoma in children is a very uh, rare uh, tumor of adult type. Um, skin melanoma is a heterogeneous uh, uh, disease. Its uh, development depends uh, on uh, both um, innate and environment factors. And uh, among the uh, factors are, are the following. The innate uh, giant uh, skin and nervous uh, family disease, uh, immune deficits, uh, depending on etiology and uh, a clinical picture in uh, pediatric population, uh, there are uh, melanomas caused uh, by the uh, giant uh, nervous and uh, spitzoid form and um, adenoma. Well, uh, the uh, risk for melanoma development is um, uh, pretty low. If uh, uh, there is a small or middle size nevus, then the risk of development of melanoma is less than 1%. If the nevus is uh, huge, then the risk is close to 5%. Some researchers mentioned that the highest risk is in case of giant uh, nevus with uh, the area of over 60 uh, centimeters, square centimeters. Besides uh, the um, but the morphological classification, there's also the clinical and age classification. There's the innate uh, or congenital manitol, neonatal or infantile manitol, and uh, childhood, pre pubertation and post pubertation. And it's done, uh, the treatment is done same as for adults. We use an amnestic data for the diagnosis. When the history is taken for children, any changes in the nevus are not the only criteria for its excision. Let us remember that, because uh, at a certain moment, uh, the uh, benign uh, may look uh, as an adult melanoma. So the, uh, we see the microscopic and macroscopic uh, data as well as uh, uh, in um, a victim uh, pathological uh, study. So in some patients, when we have uh, uh, the innate uh, giant melanoma, then it cannot be used, and we do incision biopsy to verify the process. Some uh, um, American uh, study published in 2013. Let's look into it in detail. So there are the modified ABCD detection criteria adapted for children. So uh, 70 patients, uh, children, uh, were taken into the study. Um, pre puberty, uh, 19%, uh, 51 uh, percent uh, with puberty melanoma and the outcomes are extremely interesting Ab uh, above 60 percent in a group and 40 percent uh, in uh, b group did not show the classical abcd criteria and a big number uh, of patients showed the modified abcd criteria like uh, amelanosis uh, um, bleeding uh, uh, the homogeneous uh, pigmentation etc the standard localized melanoma treatment uh, in skin for children uh, is a surgical incision. Um, but at the same time, uh, with the disseminated melanoma um, for children is a big uh, challenge for, for children and uh, requires uh, a comprehensive surgery, uh, chemo and immuno therapy, etc. Um, and irradiation therapy is mostly for palliation therapy uh, for metastatic and non-resectable uh, non skin melanoma for children uh, follows the recommendation of uh, 2017 and 2020. 
when there is a, a relapse, uh, clinical guidelines uh, of uh, 2017 suggest uh, a systematic approach, uh, chemotherapy, both mono and polychemotherapy, immune therapy with interferon. Uh, didn't show its uh, um, prevalence um, with the uh, um, uh, polychemotherapy irradiation, as I said, uh, for palliation and uh, the uh, total outcome, uh, overall outcome is uh, uh, unsatisfactory. So immunogenic uh, nature of uh, skin melanoma in children is described. Uh, it's uh, similar to the adult melanoma, and therefore the treatment um, uh, tactic has changed uh, in guidelines of uh, 2020. The first line, Ipilumab, uh, Nevelumab, uh, and Dekbarzin. That uh, the drugs are recommended. Uh, skin melanoma in, in children is very rare. It's causalistic. Usually, we have B, we see B9 skin uh, modification in children, and you see this. Uh, Petrov Oncology Institute uh, um, report uh, from September 20, May uh, 2021. 190 children were observed. Dermatoscopic uh, uh, picture, 55 patients, uh, and you see we used uh, the general um, parameters uh, uh, for um, observation. And you see the picture is very interesting, and uh, it uh, fills the um, genetic development, the development of children. So in 50% nevus was uh, uneven. The diameter was about six uh, millimeters uh, in 55%. But quite often, the morphological structure uh, was globular and uh, vessel like uh, a comma sign. It is important to know, notice uh, the um, atypical structures uh, like uh, veils, uh, blue and white, uh, white and blue. Uh, we um, did laser incision, uh, then uh, surgical incision, the second position, and punch biopsy. See, the localization and sizes were very varied, uh, mostly trunk uh, prevailing and between the uh, two millimeters uh, at the hair skull, uh, skull. Regardless uh, of the excision, um, we always did verification morpholo morphological test. The uh, po popular intradermal nevus was the most uh, common, complicated nevus, uh, both uh, for general, uh, typical, and popular structure. A clinical case uh, which is unique for us, uh, um, a boy uh, two years old. Uh, we know that uh, pediatric oncolog uh, oncologist uh, observed um, uh, the baby since the birth. Um, and uh, once uh, there was a tra trauma and um, and then uh, mom um, saw the um, increase uh, uh, spot. Uh, as you see, it was quite big. The baby uh, then was treated at the pediatric uh, uh, university in St. Petersburg. Uh, the uh, melanocyte or nevus uh, was uh, um, removed. The process was uh, uh, verified in Rogachev Center with the melanoma diagnosis uh, that um, started in the innate nevus uh, without ulceration um, with uh, the breast low thickness below three millimeters. Uh, and of course, uh, metastasis disease was identified uh, as lymphatic uh, uh, neck, uh, uh, lymphatic uh, nodes. So biopsy was done and gistology was confirmed. Molecular genetic tests were done uh, for the child uh, and RAS mutation identified. A metastatic uh, um, S2 in the right um, lung and uh, therapy. Uh, interdisciplinary um, discussion was done because it was an extremely 
um, rare case, a patient with uh, of two years with disseminated skin melanoma. And we took the systemic treatment, two courses of polychemotherapy, ciplastin, uh, vinblastin, decarbazine, and the response was quite, quite good. Uh, the control uh, lymphatic uh, um, neck lymphatic uh, nod complex uh, reduced by 86 percent and also bone marrow showed a very good response with total debut of uh, in the marrow um, bone marrow uh, after two courses there were just sporadic uh, metastatic uh, um, metastasis the boy looks good and uh, uh, this way we approached uh, to the surgical treatment uh, a monoblock excision uh, removal um, with the total, subtotal. Mm. We uh, kept uh, the facial nerve and uh, uh, we reduced the marginal branch. So the systematic uh, tactic at the, as the debut followed by surgery resulted in good uh, outcomes. By um, Summing up, uh, differential diagnostic of melanoma and uh, benign uh, uh, melanoma uh, cytantic uh, nevesis is very um, complica complicated. Um, uh, the contemporary tools uh, mostly rely on morphology. However, we see um, the difference um, in children age, only standardized um, trials uh, with big sample uh, and long-term case uh, uh, follow may provide uh, the results uh, um, related to evolution and development of benign uh, melana, uh, cytic uh, melanoma in children. And But these are rare pathologies in children. Thank you.